And everybody said, yeah. I welcome you to Power Night tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. It's a night of verifiable miracles yeah. in your life. Yeah. I see you, I see miracles. Looking at you, I see the power of God coming upon your life. Those who are here and those who are everywhere, as you hear the word of God tonight, know that this night in particular is for you. And those on the internet and media, wherever you are, alone by yourself, and you are connecting, you are connecting with power tonight. And look at you there, you and I tonight, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Why don't you raise up that time? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because you are going to touch your people. Miracles tonight. Power manifestation tonight. Deliverance tonight. Moving up mountains tonight verifiable miracles in every life. Confirm it to Lord. In Jesus name we pray. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, I read from verse 4. Surely, there's no doubt in the word of God. Surely, there's no doubt in the promises of God. Surely, there is no doubt in the manifestation of the power of God. Surely, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet, we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. And he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Tell me what you see here. And with his stripes, we are healed. Somebody there is going to be fulfilled in your life. With his stripes, we are healed. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 8. And I read from verse 16. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out. And he cast out. Every negative thing tonight, cast out. Every oppression tonight, cast out. Every tormenting spirit tonight, cast out. Anything tormenting your life, hindering you from moving forward. Everything you have feared until today, they are cast out in Jesus' name. And he cast out the spirits with his word. And he healed how many of us? And he healed how many of us today? And he healed all that was sick. But why? Because they shouted. Because they had great faith. No, look at this. It says that it may be fulfilled. God is jealous over his word. And God is jealous over the prophecies that have been made. And he wants to make sure that every word of his that came out of his mouth is fulfilled. That's why you are here tonight. There's going to be a fulfillment tonight. In your family, a fulfillment. In your place of work, a fulfillment. The word of God will be yes and amen in your life tonight in Jesus' name that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Sarah the prophet, saying himself, himself, not an angel, himself, not a man, himself, Jesus Christ himself, took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Thank God you got it tonight. Verifiable miracles. What kind of miracles are you having tonight? Say it aloud. Verifiable miracles. I'm looking at First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 24. Who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness. The rest is for you to read out aloud. By whose stripes ye were 
healed. Tonight, I'm talking to you on complete healing and health by his stripes. Complete, total, full, entire. There will be no subtraction in your miracle. I said there will be no subtraction in your miracle. Total, everything the Lord has for you tonight, you will carry, go home. You will possess. You will experience. I'll see it in your life. Complete healing and health by his stripes. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, the proclamation of your healing and health. Underline the word your. This one is yours. The proclamation of your healing and health. Number two, the prescription for your healing and health. There's a prescription. And once you follow the prescription, take the prescription, it is sure and definite. You are going to get your deliverance, your healing, your miracle, and the power of God will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Number three, the preservation of your healing and health. We get it, we're going to keep it. We get it, it's going to be permanent. You will not be up and down, in and out, and uh, seek and well, seek and well again, permanent healing and health for every one of us in Jesus' name. The preservation of your healing and health. Point number one is the proclamation of your healing and uh, health. You see, the Lord has made the proclamation for you to understand his love for you is care of you and your expectation should match the pro proclamation of the word of God. I'm looking at Exodus chapter 15 and I'm reading from verse 26. This is yours. Say this is mine. In Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, I will do that which is right in his sight. I will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of, of these diseases upon thee. I thought somebody there will say amen. Which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he let thee. You know, sometimes um, you look at things around you and you see something that should not be there. But you think in your mind, maybe that he put it there. And he has a reason for putting it there. And so you go by, leave that thing there. Or maybe it's the wife, it's my husband put this one here. He must have his reason for putting it there. My wife put this in there. She must have a reason for putting it there. And then you ask, Daddy, did you put that thing there? No, I didn't. My husband, did you put that thing there? No, I didn't. My wife, did you put that there? No, I didn't. Then we can remove it. God said, any sickness on the life, on the body of a child of God, he has not put it there. We must remove it tonight. Jesus must remove it tonight. The Holy Ghost must remove it tonight. He said, I will not put, I will not put, I will not put on thee any of the diseases which are brought upon the Egyptians. I said, looking at yourself, maybe God wants me sick. He said, no. Maybe God wants me to suffer this. He says, no. Everything the Lord has not put in your life will be removed tonight. Every evil plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your body, in your kidney, in your lungs, and in your livers, in your eyes, in your head, in your brain, in your leg, everything tonight, go in Jesus' name. And then he says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. What a proclamation. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Look at Psalm 107. I'm reading from verse 20. 
Psalm 107, I am reading here from verse 20. It says, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I want you to understand the word is the servant of the Lord. The word is like an angel of the Lord that is sent to go and do something. And the servant of the Lord, an angel, or Jesus Christ serving the Lord of the word that is sent forth will not come back and say, you sent me, but I couldn't do it. Everywhere, every person, the Lord sends the word to you. There's going to be an accomplishment. He sent his word. He sent his word. He sent his word. Tonight, he's sending the word of power into your life. The word of deliverance into your life. And the word of renewal in your life in Jesus' name. Those nerves that are getting weak and dying, life has come. The nerves in your eyes and the backbone and everything that is wrong with you, life has come tonight. Where is that life coming tonight? It's coming to you over there. He sent his word, he sent his word, he sent his word and healed them. The word cannot fail. Remember, he spoke, it was done. He sent his word, let there be light, it was done. He sent his word, let there be ocean, let there be waters, it was done. He sent his word, let the fish come out of the river, it was done. Anything he says, the, the devil cannot contradict him. Evil spirits cannot contradict him. Occultic powers cannot contradict him. He's sending the word tonight. I said he's sending the word tonight. And he's healing them, delivering them from all their destructions. Thank God the word is coming to you tonight. It will enter into your marrows. It will enter into your brain. All that insanity, insanity will vanish away. Madness will vanish away. Every yoke will be broken. I rejoice with you. The word is coming to you, setting you free. Look at Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Ah, my thoughts, I'm too sick. I don't think I can, I can get anything. That's your own thought. That's not the thought of God. I'm down, and the doctors told me that I have just a limited time to live. That's not God's thought about you. You have not finished your work here on earth. It's going to prolong your life. And it's going to heal you tonight. I see that healing coming your way. I see that deliverance coming your way. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways, says the Lord, for as the heavens are higher, than theirs, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, as the rain comes down, look up here for a moment. Let's say, for example, rain is coming down, and somebody stands in the rain, and he has uh, whatever in his hand, and he says, say, Go back, go back, go back. Will the rain go back? I said, will the rain go back? Showers of blessing coming upon you tonight, coming down. Go back, go back. Can anybody send it back? Showers of healing. Showers of miracle. Showers of anointing. Every yoke in your life is broken tonight in Jesus' name. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it to bring forth and to bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. It's going to perform healing. It's going to perform deliverance. It's going to give salvation. It's going to give freedom. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish in your life. 
it shall accomplish in your family it shall accomplish in your place of work it shall accomplish in your business it shall accomplish in your ministry that which i please what pleases satan is cancelled what pleases your enemies they want to see you fall all that is cancelled what pleases the enemies of your progress and they say he will not make make progress it's too late the progress has come to stay because it will accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. He sent his word. He sent his word. And it will prosper in the thing which he has sent. Look at Mark chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 15. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 and he said unto them go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature every creature every creature will enjoy the benefit of the gospel when they hear that gospel and it's coming to you today gospel of salvation gospel of healing gospel of deliverance gospel of grace gospel of power i lost an amen from that corner that gospel that comes to every creature tonight there'll be an accomplishment look at verse look at verse 16 he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned thank god i am a believer i'm a believer in the almighty god I'm a believer in the God that created the heavens and the earth. I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ that remains yesterday, today, and forever. I'm a believer in the Holy Ghost, in the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm a believer in all the promises of God. And then it says in verse 17, look at this. This one is mine. I said, this one is mine. I said, this one is mine. Nobody will take this one from me. You didn't say that for yourself. Nobody will take this one from me. You get it tonight. You get it every time in Jesus' name. And this sign shall follow. And this sign shall follow. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take off serpents. If they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Nobody will kill you before your time. In the village, nobody will kill you before your time. In the town, nobody will kill you before your time. In your office, nobody will kill you before your time. In the dream, nobody will kill you before the time. If you drink any deadly sin, it will not hurt you. They try to give you the dream, you know something. You know? If somebody cannot give you something in daytime, day in life, and then it's waiting for when you are asleep, that one is a coward. A coward that comes to meet you in the dream. He knows you are sleeping, but you know, even when you are sleeping, there's a head of fire around you. I sleep, but my spirit is awake, and your spirit will reject every poison in the dream in Jesus' name. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And then, look at this one, look at this one. It says, and they shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Tonight, you recover? Tonight, I recover? Say tonight I recover. So in verse 19, then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of God. Oh, what's he doing there? He's making intercession right now as he's on the right hand side of God. What's he doing there? He's saying to the Father, 
every word I gave the church must be fulfilled. That's what he's doing there. And tonight he's watching over us. And tonight he's saying yes to all his words that we're quoting. And tonight he's saying yes to all the word that is coming to you tonight. And he's watching over that word. And tonight you got it. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. The Lord walking with them. Is the Lord healing you tonight, walking with them? Is the Lord delivering you tonight, is walking with us? Is the Lord that is setting you free tonight, is walking with them, confirming the word or signs following? Confirming the word in your life or signs following? Signs are going to follow tonight. You will see your sign. I said you will see your sign. If you are lame, you'll jump up and walk. If you are blind, you open your eyes and see. If there's anything, any medical report you brought in here, we're going to neutralize that medical report tonight. Everything they said is impossible in your life. The God of all possibilities is here tonight. Is going to make it possible. Number one, number one, number one is the proclamation of your healing and health. Number two now is a prescription for your healing and health. The prescription, the prescription. Uh, if you've come across, uh, you know, a good a doctor before, and then they do medical tests, and they see what is there, they make prescription. And they give you this, they say, use this once a day. And once you use this, according to the prescription, the doctor will say, I am sure this sin will go. And then you come back in one week, and then you come to show yourself for a proof that this prescription actually works. And then you go, you take the thing in your hand. And then after you've gone faithfully, if they say 7 o'clock in the morning, you use that thing before breakfast, you do. Second day, third day, fourth day. And then by the time you come back, you are well. I said you are well. If your face is still looking like, what happened? The doctor will ask you, did you follow the prescription? And then you say, actually, actually, okay, I understand. You didn't take it as serious. You will start the prescription. Now, you know, doctors don't fight with patients. They say, you will take it again. But God's prescription, you'll take it today. Yeah. And that prescription will work in your life. What's the prescription? What's the prescription? Look at Exodus again, chapter 15. And I'm reading from verse 25, Exodus chapter 15, verse 25, and said, If thou wilt, this is your own decision, and this is your own part, if thou wilt hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, that's the prescription, and do, and do what he has told you to do, that's the prescription what is right in his sight and give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes that's the prescription then he says I will put none of the diseases upon you very simple and that's what you're doing now you came and you're hearing the word of God and you're giving attention and you're giving ear to what he's saying and as you give ear to what he's saying when we say rise up let us pray you give ear to that you rise up and then pray in the name of Jesus no other name and you pray in the name of Jesus that's the prescription and as you follow that prescription I'm telling you this one it never fails this prescription never fails I rejoice with you tonight you got it I said you got it what do you get tonight miracles that are verifiable what do you get tonight we will see it together. Exodus, Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23. I'm reading from verse 25. Exodus 23 verse 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless your bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. 
It says, you will serve the Lord your God. You know what God is saying? God is saying, I created you. Satan did not create you. So you will not serve Satan. I will not serve Satan. I created you. Idols did not create you. You will not serve idols. I will not serve idols. I created you. Evil powers did not create you. I will not make any covenant with evil powers. It says, if you will abandon all those you surpass in your life, and you're not allow anybody to usurp your skill, usurp your authority, and usurp your life, ye you shall serve the Lord your God. Whom are you going to serve? Who are you serving? That's the prescription. That's the prescription. It says, if you serve the Lord your God, it says, I will bless your bread. I will bless your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. From the midst of thee. It's like, um, you know, the way somebody looks at you and then your face is all right. Your hands are all right. Your standing is all right. You look good. And you say you are sick. You say, the sin is inside me, inside my lungs. It's inside my marrow, the marrow of my bone. It's inside my kidney. It's inside my brain. I feel it is walking all over. It's inside. God said, every sin inside that is not health, that is not healthy, is going to take everything away. I will take away sickness from the midst of thee. It is gone in Jesus' name. I said, your sicknesses are gone. Yeah. Your infirmity is gone. Yeah. Prescription, prescription. Let's come to James chapter 5. We're looking at the prescription for your healing and your health. In uh, James chapter 5, look at the prescription now. James chapter 5, uh, reading from verse 15. The prescription for your healing and uh, health. In James chapter 5, verse 15, uh, it says, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. You miss your amen. What kind of prayer? There are many kinds of prayer. But the prescription is, as you want healing, the prescription, not the prayer of doubt, not the prayer of regret, not the prayer of crying, not the prayer of sorrow, not the prayer of self-condemnation. I'm no good. I'm bad. Everybody knows. That's why this sickness came on me. Not the prayer of regret. The prescription. Take the prescription. The prayer of faith. I know my God is able. I know my God will heal me. I know my God is merciful. I know my God will not forsake me. And I come, I pray the prayer of faith. I am healed in Jesus' name. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. You are lying on the mat there. We are going to pray the prayer of faith. That is the perception. And the Lord will raise him up. You've been on the bed of affliction for a long time, and the doctors have given you up. They said there's no hope, and the prayer of faith shall raise him up. Your neighbors are crying. Your neighbors, they say, this is impossible. We never saw anything like this before. And you yourself, you're lying there helplessly. The prayer of faith, tell me, tell me, shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. They shall be forgiven. Forgiveness available tonight. Salvation available tonight. Healing available tonight. Deliverance available tonight. Look at verse 16. Confess your faults one to another. And pray one for another. What does that mean? Just say, I'm sorry to somebody you have offended. And say, if the person, you cannot do that now because there you're sitting. And the person is not even here. But you tell the Lord. I'm sorry for what I did to that person. And when I see him, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to say, yes, I was wrong. That's all. Confess your faults one to another. 
and then pray one for another that's a prescription that's a prescription and then that ye may be healed i'm healed tonight i am healed tonight the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much it will avail your life my brother there upstairs it will avail in your life sister over there tonight the prayer will avail in your life in jesus name number one is the proclamation the proclamation number two is the prescription number three the preservation the preservation you know tonight the miracle you get will be permanent you will give testimony you know, somebody said, you know, if I, if I get something and I talk about it, they, uh, they are watching there, they will take it away from me. Who are the day as powerful as Jesus Christ? Who are those people as mighty as Jesus Christ? This one, you will get this one. You will testify about this one. And nobody, 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 nobody in hell, nobody in the sea, nobody in the ocean, nobody, any bush spirit, nobody in the community, nobody anywhere will take this away from you in Jesus' name. Because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much preservation, preservation of your healing and uh, health you are healthy yeah. i won't see you weak again yeah. i won't see you sick again yeah. you'll stand like a soldier yeah. walk like a soldier yeah. run like a soldier yeah. and everything god has created you for to accomplish here on earth you will accomplish yeah. you will be an achiever I'm looking at how the achiever, 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 you will achieve in Jesus' name. Hey, look at this, look at this, Exodus chapter 15. We're looking at the preservation of your healing and health. Your, the preservation, I'm coming to, I'm coming to uh, this in uh, Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, after your healing, how do you preserve your health? You keep on reading the promises of God. You got it by faith, you'll keep it by faith. You got it through the word, you'll keep it through the word. You got it by saying, Yes, I believe my God, my God can never fail. And you keep it by saying, I believe my God, my God will never fail. Your God will not fail you. Yeah. I will do that which is right in his sight. That's how you got it. That's how you got it. That's how you're going to keep it. And then it says, and give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which have brought upon the Egyptians. You know, if you are staying with the Egyptians, Egyptian disease, Egyptian sickness is contagious. You stay with them, they'll pass it on to you. You stay with them, you lie down with them, they'll pass it on you. You embrace them, they'll pass it on you. You practice their culture, they'll pass it to you. You practice their tradition, they'll pass it on to you. And you practice their idolatry, they'll pass it on to you. They say it's one of us, it's one of us. You are no more one of them. And so, as you, to preserve your healing and preserve your health, you will not stay with those Egyptians, and then you'll see, I am the Lord that healeth thee. You'll be confessing all the time, He is my Lord, He has healed me, and the healing is going to be permanent. Your healing is going to be permanent. Hey, look, at, look at Job, look at Job. The preservation of your healing and health. Job chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 9 job chapter 17 
I'm reading from verse 9. It says in verse 9, look at this one, look at this one. Verse 9, it says, The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. When you were sick, you became weak. You couldn't stand. You don't carry your body. You couldn't carry anything. You were weak. But tonight, that sickness is going. Tonight, that weakness is going. And then, you are going to become strong. And how do you keep that strength after the healing? To become stronger and stronger by the day, stronger and stronger by the week, stronger and stronger as you move on so that no more weakness, no more incapacity, or no more uh, deliberating a, a kind of sickness, everything taken away, stronger and stronger, you keep your hands clean. Thank God your hands are clean. Washed in the blood of the Lamb, you keep everything clean, and you'll be stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. And the righteous shall hold on on his way. He that is righteous will not, you know, go into the evil in society, all the bribery and corruption in society. He'll not go into them. He'll be stronger and stronger, and you will be stronger and stronger in Jesus' name. Look at, look at uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. I'm reading here from verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. The promises of God, chew them, swallow them, digest them, meditate on them, possess them, and claim them. The promises of God, the word of God that comes to you. Don't wait for only another power night. Between now and the next power night, all the promises of such for them in your Bible, claim them, claim them, claim them, and swallow them. That is mine. He says, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them. And tell me what follows there. Let your neighbors hear. Let your brothers and sisters hear that. Health to all their flesh. Every joint in your body will have this health. Every bloodstream in your body will have this health. Your lungs and your kidneys and every part will have this health. This word of God will penetrate everywhere in your life. And you are going to remain healthy and strong in Jesus' name. Look at this. You must mark this one now in your Bible. What I'm going to show you now, Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 24. 33 verse 24. This one must be part of your life. It must be your experience. Do you have your Bible there? I said, do you have your Bible there? And do, have you opened Isaiah chapter 33? Look at verse 24. It says, The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Inhabitants in deeper life. Inhabitants in the church of God. Inhabitants abiding in Christ. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. After the final amen tonight, you will not say, I am still sick. I am still weak. No, it cannot be. I said it cannot be. I bring healing to you in the name of Jesus. I bring deliverance to you in the name of Jesus. I bring power to you in the name of Jesus. I bring renewal to you in the name of Jesus. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Did I hear an amen there? Now John chapter 5 verse 14. John chapter 5 verse 14. I'm reading John chapter 5 
verse 14 it says in john chapter 5 and in verse 14 look at the words of jesus christ it says afterwards jesus findeth him in the temple after tonight where will jesus find you after your healing where will jesus find you after the showers of blessing where will jesus find you after your verifiable miracle where will jesus find you he found him in the temple and he said unto him behold thou art made whole if jesus said so it is so if jesus confirms it it is right if jesus said you are made whole and then there is nobody you don't need to go and check up here check up there check up there he says you are made whole lo and behold you are made whole from the top of your head to the tip of your toe you are made whole in jesus name how do you preserve that healing how do you preserve that help how do you preserve that deliverance how do you preserve that dominion it says thou art made whole sin no more lest it was sin come unto thee sin no more you know some people say i, I don't understand that one you'll understand you know and sometimes you go to the doctor and the doctor checks you up before they give you any medication whatever they give you a form to fill and uh, you know they say do you have this in your family they say do you smoke they say do you drink they say do you do this or do that and you have to fill the form and make sure that you're feeling the right thing so that they will know the cause of the problem and then you give that form paper back to the doctor he looks at it he said we can fix you up we can settle this one and after that he has he now gives you treatment and behold you are well and dr jesus will make you well tonight dr jesus will make you strong tonight and then he says please come back and visit me i go back to visit the doctor and the doctor has discovered that your lungs are having some problems and he's trying to clean it up and clear it up for you but now he says you know something you have to i can't do this for you you have to do this yourself drink and smoke no more lest you die prematurely the smoking and the drinking you know, has been eating up your lungs and is making you to have this a tendency it's still the first stage it's not too bad yet you can still be all right but drink and smoke no more lest you die prematurely that's what jesus is saying here that sin no more all those things of the night all those things of the devil all those things that will put you in the hands of satan directly and satan will say he has come again knock him down you will not go there again they will not be able to knock you down anymore and so you check up your life it says see no more lest it was seen come on you better things are coming in your life greater things are coming in your life happier things are coming in your life you remain well in jesus name i will remain well i said i will remain well the preservation of your health and healing look at third john third john third john i'm reading from verse two third john reading from verse two I'm waiting for you. I've opened it already. Open your Bible. Open your Bible. This one is for you. Say, this is for me. So John, verse 2, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. You will prosper. Anybody that says you'll not prosper is a liar jesus said you will prosper yeah. beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper number one look at this and be in health even as thy soul prospers your soul is the center of your life your soul your spirit is the center of your life it says the condition for your body to retain that health is that 
your soul will be well. Your soul will be linked to God. Your soul will not accept any sin of sin, any sin of evil. And number one, the work of your hands will prosper. Yeah. Number two, your body will remain well. Number three, your soul will prosper in Jesus' name. Number one, the proclamation. The Lord is telling you tonight, proclaiming you to, to you tonight, He will come and heal you. Yeah. That place where you are is your hospital tonight. Spiritually, the Lord will touch you. Yeah. The Lord will heal you. Yeah. Number two, the prescription. Pray in the name of Jesus and believe that once you mention the name of Jesus and we mention the name of Jesus, it is done. And he will send his watch to you. He'll make you well. And I have to be healing tonight because I know you are getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. Whatsoever you say will be fulfilled for you. After that, make sure that you keep in the midst, in the center of the will of God. And God will maintain that healing in your life. Look at Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Matthew chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 7. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. Where is that him there? Where is that her there? He'll come and heal you. I said he's come, he'll come and heal you. Look at verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Your servant shall be healed. Oh, you say, I don't have any servant. Yes, you do. Your hands, that's your servant serving you. Your legs, those are your servants serving you. Your nose and throat, serving you your head your brain serving you every part of your body is for the service of your body to take you from here and take you here to take you to the mountain top you are going there and everyone everything that serves you all the members of your body will be healed tonight in jesus name speak the word only speak the word only that's all we need tonight and the word is sent to you tonight and you are healed in jesus name rise up and receive rise up and claim it rise up and possess everything you need tonight verifiable miracle verifiable deliverance verifiable moving of mountain everything you need tonight open your mouth and tell him your miracle has arrived your miracle has arrived your miracle has arrived open your mouth and talk to the lord and say lord i've heard the proclamation i've heard about the prescription i've heard about the preservation and tonight is my night tonight is my night it's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. You are not going to go back as you came. You are weak. You are going to be strong. You are sick. You are going to be well. You are oppressed. You are going to be delivered. You are poor. You are going to be prospered. You are jobless. He's going to provide for you. And the mountain that overwhelmed your life, the Lord is going to take that mountain away tonight. It is yours, it is yours, it is yours. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, He will answer. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, He will answer. Everything you open your mouth to say tonight, He will answer. The proclamation, your healing. The proclamation, your deliverance. The proclamation, your freedom. The proclamation, your forgiveness, the proclamation, your redemption is there, is there, is there. Call upon the name of the Lord, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord 
shall receive his miracle whosoever shall call on the name of the lord will be totally set free that's a proclamation that's a word that comes from heaven and it cannot go back to heaven void there's a fulfillment tonight there's empowering tonight there is a freedom tonight there's a healing tonight it cannot fail it cannot fail it cannot fail the word that is sent forth the word that is sent forth is getting to you there it's getting to you there it's getting to you there it will enter your brain it will enter your mind it will enter your bones it will enter your eyes the word the word of power the word of authority the word of anointing that breaks every yoke is there tonight is there tonight is there tonight you cannot escape the miracle of god tonight you cannot escape the salvation of god tonight you cannot escape the deliverance of god tonight so tell him everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled the word is in your mouth you can break that yoke with the word of your mouth you can send back that spirit of death with the word of your mouth what you say on your wife to be well she'll be well what you say on your husband to be well he'll be well what to say and command on that child to be made whole he'll be made whole tell him tell him tell him it's the night of your power the night of his power in your life the night of powerful deliverance and the night of powerful manifestation it's yours it's yours there's a proclamation that has come to you there's a prescription he has given to you and as the preservation is going to maintain your life your miracle is right there open your mouth wide and the almighty god will feel it receive receive tell him yes i believe yes i believe yes i believe it's mine the work has been done already the healing has been performed already the deliverance is taking place already power dominion authority anointing that breaks every yoke is flowing it's flowing to you there it's getting to you there thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord he sent his word he sent his word and it reaches every part of your body anywhere that pain is it reaches you there anywhere that infirmity is it reaches you there you've got it tonight you've got it tonight you've got it tonight affirm it and it will confirm it affirm it and it will confirm it we we'll speak his word and that word is said to you where you have the challenge and the problem the word of your mouth let it agree with the word of god that he has sent to you today the word of your testimony let it agree the word of your confession let it agree even your thoughts let it agree with the thoughts of god 
and the word of God. Confirmation tonight. In your life, confirmation tonight. Against every sickness, confirmation tonight. Against all the paths of darkness, confirmation of the word of God tonight. It's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening now. He cannot fail. His word cannot fail. Every arrow of the enemy is broken. All the weapons of the enemy that shattered. All the chains of the shackles that bind you, they're broken. You're free. Declare it, you're free. Affirm it, you're free. Confess it, you're free. Believe it, you're free. Surely, he has borne our grief. Surely, he has carried our sorrows. Surely, it was meeting. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Surely, by stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Accept it now. Believe it now. Confess it now. Affirm it now. In Jesus' name we pray. I got it. I got it. I got it. You will not lose it in Jesus' name. Raise up those hands for a confirmation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. Thank you for your love. You called us together to bless us. And Lord, like the rain that comes from heaven, which nobody can send back, showers of blessing have come tonight upon everyone in Jesus' name. <laughs> miracles upon everyone today. Definite miracles. Real miracles. Visible miracles. Positive miracles. Verify build miracle upon every life tonight in Jesus' name. You said you sent your word and you heal them all. Lord, I pray anyway the sickness in the head, on the throat, in the chest, in the tummy, in the joints, in the muscles, in the bones, anywhere there is sickness tonight, I command. Come out in Jesus' name. All the manifestations of evil spirit, of evil power, of demonic affliction, of something, boo spirit, water spirit, familiar spirit, whatever is tormenting your people, anybody there tonight, you are cast out in Jesus' name. The irresistible anointing that breaks every yoke, breaks every yoke in your life. Yeah. You're free. Yeah. Your brain is free. Yeah. Your blood system is free. Yeah. Your kidneys are healed. Yeah. Your lungs are healed. Yeah. Tuberculosis, no way again. Yeah. 
HIV AIDS, no way again. Cancer, no way again. Be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever is the root cause of defeat and poverty in your life, I approach that thing right now. You are free. You are blessed. Your soul is blessed. Your body is healed. The work of your hands will prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every miracle your people have received tonight will be permanent. Your people will be stronger and stronger. And the joy of the Lord will always be their strength. I pray, Lord, you put joy in every heart, happiness in every soul, a song in every mouth, and testimony from everyone. I pray, Lord, what your people have got, they will not lose. They'll testify about it everywhere. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.